Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of my tutorial series. Today we are going to talk about Pimple idiom in C++. Pimple stands for private implementation. Uh, it's one of the very useful idiom when you develop a production application or when you develop a set of AP classes. So we'll see how we can implement Pimple idiom using C++ and where we need to apply this particular idiom. So let's go to the first slide of my this presentation. <coughs> so I have uh, mentioned about two use cases. One use case is when you develop APA classes. So uh, when you develop APA classes, if you want to hide the actual implementation, how you design the class uh, from the consumers. I'll try to explain a bit more. So for example, uh, if you're developing a software and you are delivering the software as API to a third party who will be using your API to achieve something. In this case, you may, may not wish to share the actual implementation or some details of the implementation or you, you want to simply hide how, how did you do the things or what kind of algorithm you have used to uh, create this API class. So uh, to explain a bit more about this point, I'll open a source code here. Let's see this code. So I am from the card navigation background so this was one of the very good example which we can apply the pimple design pattern. So for example, uh, when I develop a, uh, if I'm developing a car routing engine, so my company, if uh, uh, I'm the developer of a company which delivers the, the engine APIs to a, another company who will be actually using this routing engine class to find a route between two uh, geo points or find how to do a guidance or something like that. So what's the problem here? For example, to achieve the routing, I may need to use some algorithm like digitstra algorithm star m routing algorithm and so on. And exactly, you know that when when I when someone calls find root I may need to do something with this algorithm completely fine if you have an in-house software or if you are developing the end-to-end -end application there is no problem but for example as a so uh, you are not developing the application you are providing this as a library so end of the day you will be giving the dynamic link library like SO file or DLL file which contains the implementation and of course to implement the functionality you will be providing this header file. So as a third party if I'm using this class okay I'll get no okay this guy has used the extra algorithm. Yeah it's fine sometimes but you know sometimes from a business perspective it may not be good. How we can hide this kind of details? That's one of the use case we will be talking uh, through the pimple design pattern. Uh, pimple, uh, I'm sorry to call it as design pattern, it's not design pattern, pimple idiom. Okay, so what I'm going to do when I write the API class, I will ensure that the, the consumer of my API class will have the necessary public function. I won't hide everything else. So, for example, I have, if I have a private function, void, let's say, long, find on air distance and so on this kind of things uh, which are internally used by used by my library why do i need to expose it to someone else in this case what how we can rewrite this class using pimple pattern that's the topic here so i'll write again routing engine what i'll do here <coughs> okay public classes that makes sense which which are really exposed by the you know uh, exposed to the customer you can just put it here I'm sorry about this formatting and of course there are some two 
let's one second just hold on uh, for Matthew using Israel yeah cool okay now yeah it looks good if I share this class to someone who oh, no one will get to know how did we implement so here we will use a technique called private classes so I'll write a class I'll declare a forward I'll write a forward declaration here routing engine private or routing engine I'll say I'll say private you know people use different terms here someone can use routing engine implementation and I'll just use a pointer here private routing engine private star T I'm from a cute background so if you know cute you know why I have used this <laughs> that's not the topic here okay cool uh, yeah you know what does it mean right we don't need to include the route engine private here because it's a pointer right in my C++ I'll do like this class yeah and of course I can there are multiple ways of doing it just write like this <coughs> yeah so here and use the routing engine I'm sorry routing engine can destructor find root and blah 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 here see how I have done yeah then here in the constructor I'll say d equal new routing engine private the new routing engine private cool delete the private member variable which is the private class right so here I'm just deleting the routing engine private and delete when I call I'll say return d dot find route start lat start long n lat and long just by passing the control to the private so here what I'll do again return d start guidance you see and my actual algorithm will come here I'll have a class called hey digxtra d I'm sorry digxtra star m algorithm yeah I'm sorry I have a lot of spelling mistakes nowadays uh, algorithm yeah so I have I have an algorithm class which is really hidden from the API class so that no one will know how we are doing it so here I may have a lot of complex algor algorithmic algorithmic calls and so on what do you know got it so it's very clear you will have API class end of the day when you compile this this private class will become a part of your object code I mean this is library and the header will not have any details so that someone can trace it out which kind of algorithm you are using if you really want to hide the implementation so that's what all about the first use case where you can hide the actual implementation got it so here we are forwarding uh, forward declaring the private class so that you don't need to really include a header file which defines the private class because it's a pointer object here we have the uh, member will have only one member variable in the API class which will be pointing to the private class and in the constructor we will be just creating the private class instance class instance and destructor we are deleting it here whenever a member function get called we will be just calling the actual private instance member call member uh, function 
maybe with the same signature and we are returning the data. That's the first use case as I said. Second use case, <coughs> binary compatibility. See, for example, today I have uh, given this source code to my uh, vendor who will be using this routing engine to calculate some route or integrate some other application. Then I found some bug. If I have used this kind of, uh, say, you can imagine when a, if it's a product, we'll have a lot of member, uh, private member variables, a lot of private, uh, say, member functions, and so on. To fix a bug, I may I may need to modify this header file. Then what happens when I deliver the software? I need to give them the updated API header file. That again means that they need to recompile their application. A bit complex, right? But if you are just giving the public API, and if you have, if you find a bug here, you know, by, by keeping the private uh, the the implementation details within this class, you can fix the bug here. You may need to just give the library, maybe a runtime library, and you don't need to even give the header file because header header file remains same. So end of the day, they don't need to recompile it. They recompile their application, just replace the extra file, and it should work. If it's a dynamic library or even a static library, that means we can maintain a uh, kind of binary compatibility. And for example, like, uh, let's see the best example can be here. As I said. I was using a Digistra algorithm. So tomorrow, if I want to use a star algorithm, if it's for a private class, again I need to change a lot here. Deliver the header file, blah blah blah, and it's more complex. So that's the best part of Pimple private implementation EDM from an API design perspective. Secondly. <coughs> Compilation process. I have seen this a lot. For example, when you develop a product, I mean, end of the day, you may have say thousand classes or two thousand classes for a big project. And if you start adding the into, for example, see here in the main file, I have included this routing engine. Yeah. So what did what we do here? When I build it's there are some errors so we don't need to use this guy here yeah. forget about this yeah when I compile uh, uh, so the it will include the routing engine dot H and of course if during the development phase we may need to add more private member uh, you know members and so on in X Y like this when we need to compile again, what happens? It will compile my routing engine. I'm sorry, in X, yeah, let's see like this. In X, so what happens here? It will compile my routing engine and the main.cpp because main.cpp knows that while compiling, oh, this file has been changed. Then it will compile the whole thing. So you can imagine in a big project there will be a lot of linkage between the header files and the source or there will be a lot of uh, uh, you know classes which may use some other common classes and if you change the common class a bit you may need to recompile again and it will end up in a lot of uh, you know uh, compilation time. But if you go with this approach private implementation you are just declaring this private as uh, through a forward declaration mechanism. So even if I change some implementation here, see, I'm just adding in X, your main will not get compiled. You'll just compile this guy. That's it. That's a beauty. So uh, maybe it's a wrong example to you know explain the or discuss more about the compilation uh, improvements. But you can imagine if I have thousand classes and this routing engine is referred by say. 500 classes and those 500 classes can uh, among those 500 classes 50 can classes can be referred by another 50 so we'll have a chain of uh, compilation process because it has a dependency but 
when it's when you are using private implementation only the corresponding C++ because your private implementation is in a C++ file only that file will get uh, compiled and it will just link it to the main library so that's the beauty so certainly it enhances the compilation time so I really recommend from my experience also I have used Pimple uh, a lot uh, Pimple IDM, IDM a lot uh, if you are a cute uh, C++ developer certainly you will come across this kind of uh, idiom most of the cute classes like any any cute classes use the pimple idiom and I believe most of them uh, are uh, using this idiom for the keeping the binary compatibility so that's all about pimple idiom I hope uh, you enjoyed it thank you very much